attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. What up, everyone? It's the Nation of Podcation Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the real underscore O Barber Brand and on Instagram and TikTok at the Nation of Podcation. Hot Boy Turk of the Super Group, the Hot Boys, tells us the real reason why he fired shots back at his former group member BG. Now, the Hot Boys reunion is inevitable. Inevitable. It's gonna happen. Both Lil Wayne and Juvenile of the group have said that this reunion is gonna happen. BG has said he wants this to happen. Turk said he wants this reunion to happen. So I'm a believer that after nearly 25 years that they can get through all these issues and this war of words and get back on track. Now I'm a big believer in controversy creates cash and some believe that this is all a big publicity stunt to keep interest in this hot boys slash cash money millionaires reunion. Lil Ya from UNLV and formerly of Cash Money Records also thinks this is a publicity stunt to draw interest in this cash money hot boys reunion in a recent interview hot boy turk says that he only went at bg because of bg's comments towards him bg took shots at turk in a live video and turk responded then bg said turk is not important to the reunion then turk was done at that point and then he went off on bg saying bg's new music is trash and saying the only reason he's getting any sort of buzz is because he dissed the hot boys he dissed lil wayne and he dissed turk well in this interview clip turk breaks down why he finally clapped back at BG, let's take a look at this clip. He did a live and say my name. So when I reached out, I guess he took it the wrong way because you always have people instigating. You know what I'm saying? Then started. So Turk says he reached out to BG after BG first dissed him. And for whatever reason, BG took offense. And Turk says that BG's people were somebody was probably in his ear. Let's continue. On shots. I'm falling back because this my brother. Yeah. I don't want to get into it with you, bro. Like, it's like, bro, leave me alone now. I'm, I'm all right. You feel me? Want to come before destruction? Yeah. All right, so as you see there, Turk says he didn't even want to get into a beef with BG. He said that's his brother, and he didn't even want to go there with him. Let's continue. Uh, bam. He sent the shot. You ain't as, in, as important as blah, blah, blah. I, I answered that back. I thought it was cool, you know? Even to the point where, man, I got love for the bitch Tika too. So you got love for me, but then it seemed like you're bipolar. So I gotta respect what Turk is saying because how you gonna tell me I'm not important? Then turn around and say that you got love for me, especially for the things that we were able to do with hip hop when we were kids. I can't really get down with that. Let's continue. So now, <laughs> even if you plan and you make it a part of your rollout, yeah. I'm not in the huddle, so I don't know the place. So I'm in the blind. You feel me? So mm -hmm. thing I know if somebody come to me, I gotta defend myself. All right, so now Turk is saying that if BG's plan was to fire shots at him and the hot boys as some sort of a publicity stunt, then he should have let Turk know so Turk would have been in the loop on what was really going on. Let's tune back in. Now it's time for me to say something because I feel like you're going to keep on playing until I say something. Disrespect is disrespect. Bro, I come from the same places they come from. I done been in the penitentiary. So the smallest shit is disrespect. If I got to be a part of something... So there, now, I said this in another video of mine that these two were the ones that were locked up the longest, respectively. BG just got out from doing 12 years. Turk did eight years, both in the penitentiary. And it seems like there's some penitentiary hangover lingering from both of them. Folks who've been in the penitentiary or folks who've been locked up understand that respect is everything and the slightest amount of disrespect, it's disrespect. So here we are. Let's take a look at this clip as it continues. Oh, and I have to be disrespected to be a part of something, my nigga. Bro, I, I, it's like, man, fuck that. Now, to me personally, all the hot boys are important. I don't want to see the reunion without the entire group. Now, to me, no one member is more important than the other members within the hot boys group. We all know, and it's obvious, Lil Wayne is the biggest star, but each member played their role in the group. 
drop dope verses over the many fresh beats. The back and forth with Turk and BG has got to stop in order for this to move along. Manny Fresh and Birdman have come back to reform the big timers. So we got a big part of the cash money millionaires back together. Just need to get the hot boys back together. There is no reason why that all of them, they're all over 40 years old, ain't like they kids no more, that they shouldn't be able to sit down like men and work this out. Ain't nobody died. And if Manny Fresh can make up with Birdman, if Juvie can make up with Birdman, if Lil Wayne can make up with Birdman over the money that was owed to them, then all these little beefs, these little snips and snaps that they're taking to each other, they can get squashed. Nation, what do you think about Hot Boy Turk's comments? What do you think about BG and Turk going back and forth? Do you want to see the Hot Boys reunion in 2024? Do you want to see an album? Do you want to see a tour? Do you want to see just a few songs? What do you think about the Big Timers reunion? What do you think about the Cash Money Billionaires reunion? Let me know in the comment section down below and make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Peace. Hey. Shay and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.